she's uh, saying on all this. Um, and actually, we don't have that, but we do have Tulsi Gabbard, who has now dropped out of the Democratic race uh, for president. She said uh, this. Listen. First, we all know that Trump is not going to be found guilty and removed from office by the U.S. Senate. It's not going to happen. Second, the impeachment, in my view, will actually increase his support amongst voters and it's going to make him harder to defeat. All right. So what about that? She's right. Mm -hmm. Look, the, the Democrats could have censured uh, President Trump. They could have said, we don't like what he did in Ukraine. We don't like his policies, we don't like his personality and run against that in 2020. Instead, they have elevated the Trump issue to impeachment, a grave constitutional crisis, as they put it. Yeah. And I think most of the American people, most undecided voters are going to decide who, the outcome of the election in 2020, are saying, wait a minute. We may or may not like President Trump and his policies, but impeaching him and convicting him, trying to remove him from office, I think uh, Cong Congresswoman Gabbard is correct that yeah. this is probably increasing support for the president. And just to clarify, she hasn't actually dropped out yet, uh, but she did not make, what, the last debate. I mentioned Susan Collins, though, uh, because she's now saying, you know, she's leaning towards uh, calling witnesses. But what about the possibility, and I've asked everyone this, of not having a trial at all, of dismissing the trial altogether and not calling witnesses? I think... <clears throat> the Republicans would like to do that. Mm -hmm. And probably there's a point at which if Speaker Pelosi does not submit the articles of